would you rather be working for yourself, like you are, even during the tough years and the tough days, or would you rather <laughs> be working for an idiot? <laughs> every time, every time you have a hard day, I want you to think about that, because I don't know about you, but I work for a lot of idiots. Um, I work uh, in the car business, I work for automobile franchises, I work in the restaurant business, I work for some really crazy bosses. I work for bosses that were yellers, you know, and, and I can't, I just, I can't deal with it. And um, very, uh, shall we say, not motivating. So I worked with a lot of really difficult bosses. And I did not wake up one day thinking to myself, I want to be an entrepreneur. What happened to me was I got fired for the 20th time from an automo automotive franchise. It was a Ford dealership. And uh, I'll never, uh, I will never forget this day. The dealership was being sold like six months after I was brought on to turn around. And I heard on the street that it was up for sale and I was pissed. I was really resentful. It was not a good time in my life. I was not a fun guy to be around because I felt used. And one day I was brought into the general manager's office and, and I guess the sale had been completed. And uh, they said, you're gone, you're done, you're fired. And I said, really? And I was really frightened because here I am, a new dad, got my little girl, and uh, no job. So I remember they asked me if I wanted to keep my company car for a week, which was really nice of them, and I said, you know what, pass. I, I, don't, I just don't want the insurance headache. So I, I, I went back to my office, I grabbed my little girl's car seat in one hand, my briefcase in the other hand, and I walked next door and called dad to come pick me up. Felt like the biggest loser. And, and I remember I was sitting at a McDonald's, interestingly enough, a franchise, a tiny one, <laughs> and feeling, I, mean, I, I really felt like a loser. Just sitting there with my, my kid's car seat and a briefcase, having a cup of coffee at McDonald's waiting for dad to pick me up. And it sucked. And I, and I said, you know what? I never want to feel that way again, that, that powerlessness. I didn't know what I, what I wanted to do, but I knew what I didn't want to do anymore. And at that moment, something happened. And I decided I never, ever want to work for idiots again. But I didn't know what I wanted to do. So my, my late father started just pounding on me and saying, Joel, why don't you work with me? He was one of the first franchise brokers in the country. I said, you know, eh, I don't know. I'd have to throw a little money into the deal. And I, I... So after a couple months, I finally said, yes, I'll do it.